Hey YouTube, what is going on? Warm Moose Eternal. I just saw the Destiny 2 stream the reveal of the Witch Queen and this reveal of season 15. I am super stoked. I took some notes for you guys and I got some things I want to go over with you guys. So anyway, let's get right into it. Sabathun's brood is going to be called the Lucent Brood. I am actually super stoked by this because apparently from what I saw, she stole some of the light and was making ghosts for the hive. Okay. That right there alone is bad freaking news. And I was looking at these hive ghosts, and they're actually really, really cool looking. I was like, I honestly kind of want one for myself. And I was just, it was, it was awesome looking. Uh, craftable weapons. They showed a glaive. A freaking glaive of like a seven and a half, eight foot long glaive. Basically a pole arm with a blade on the end of it. And I am just blown away by all that. It was it was awesome. They're talking about crafting different weapons as well, and being able to craft some of the weapons of like seasons past and new, different types of weapons and stuff. So honestly, I am looking forward to that because that's going to be awesome. Who knows what kind of perks you could put on it or make with it? All right. And going also, the Witch Queen DLC from what they were saying is going to be taking place in Savathun's home world. Savathun's throne world, sorry. Throne world. Alright. And from what I also saw in the trailer, that some of the hive are going to have guardian esque powers. And I'm just like, oh great, thanks. But anyway, they all die the same way, so I ain't too scared. They're also saying that some new supers are gonna be given to the hive that we might be able to get as well. That's a speculation. I mean, that's from what I saw from the trailer. Don't know really until it happens. They're also hinting at a couple more expansions for Destiny 2 called the Final Shape, and they didn't say anything else about beyond about beyond that. So, so we thought Lightfall was going to be kind of like you know the end saga. No, they're going to go further than that. They're going to go with like the Final Shape and a few others beyond that. So who knows what's going to happen afterwards. And from season 15, the Shattered Realm, possibly, I don't know. It could be like a cross between Shattered Throne and something else. I don't know. It could be like a new seasonal content-esque activity. I will find out here in a minute because right now, as I'm recording this, the update is copying to my PS4. Uh, apparently, I also saw hints of like a stasis a stasis trace rifle. If I seasonal exotic, I don't know. I'm just speculating. I will definitely have another video up once the update is done copying and I'm actually able to get in the game. And they're talking about having the light subclasses based like the stasis subclasses with the light, with the uh, aspects and fragments and all that. So that's going to definitely be a real game changer there. The seasonal artifact from what I've been hearing is, a wayf is what's called the Wayfinder's Compass. So who knows what that's going to entail as well. Also, something as well that I've been hearing tremendous about is Battleline. A anti-cheat software coming into Destiny 2. And I'm actually really excited about that because that might make me actually get into some PvP. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, I just never really found any enjoyment in it because of all the cheating and a couple other reasons. But there is a lot of stuff that I took notes on and found. And I'm just going to highlight some major things. Legacy raids will be coming back within the Witch Queens, what they said, like a new one every three months. I am super stoked about that because I want them to bring King's Fall back. Possible Taken subclass, which I'm actually stoked about that because that would be fun. That would be fun. Not even going to lie. They're making some changes to Trials of Osiris for all you hardcore PvP players and all you Trials guys. This is definitely going to be one that's going to that you guys are going to want to look out for as well. This is going to come season 15 along with crossplay. Instead of you know like going three, five, seven, you can win like individual rounds and get rewards. For those of you just like starting out, getting into Trials and getting into PvP like that, you're going to be able to win rounds and still get loot. But going flawless, that's still not going to change. Uh, but one thing I also did want to talk about as well, guys, is I didn't get a chance to really share this on video a lot, but 
Destiny and Destiny 2 have been a huge portion of my life. Because coming from someone who never really played a lot of online gaming, didn't really wasn't really a much of a social person. I didn't really have a lot of friends until I started playing Destiny, met some people, and started getting really heavy into Destiny, and it became an integral portion of my life. Started doing the King's Fall raid, which was my very first raid ever, and it just it became a part of me. Destiny became a part of my life. And once I started getting really, really good at the raid and be able to do it and do it with others and enjoy it and have fun with it, I was able to start taking people through, teach them the raid, show them the ropes, and honestly, that felt like my purpose. I have met so many people along the way that Destiny has became an actual, just like a part of me. A lot of my circle of friends now are people I have met through Destiny 1 and Destiny 2. And finding people like at my work or customers I come across at my day job that play Destiny as well, it just, it's, it's actually really awesome. But something that I did want to share with you is a couple of things that have happened through my Destiny career that really make me proud to be doing what I do. I've never really talked a lot about this, but I was able to take a kid who was terminally ill through his very first King's Fault run. That was his one wish that he wanted to do before something happened to him, and I was actually able to facilitate that happening. Long story short, we got talking. He told me what happened. I told him, get a team, and we're going to make it happen. One way or another. It is going to happen. I met a very close friend of mine. She saw me as big brother. And her last words. Her last words were, I'm sorry, everyone. Guardian down. I'm sorry. I just got a little emotional thinking about that about those two things right there really I just got a little emotional I'm so sorry anyway guys I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I really hope that you guys saw the trailer as well sorry if I seem like a little emotional just thinking about some things it's not really out of sadness it's more about just out of just raw pride I am super stoked for Witch Queen. I am super stoked for this season. So, anyway, guys, if you guys got some value out of this video and some thing, some notes I took, um, let me know down in the comments below. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe as well. I'm also got a Facebook page as well where I'll be posting updates. Like if I like if I can't get to YouTube at the time, I'll post some stuff there as well for you guys. I'll put the handle up on screen right about now. All right. As always, y'all take care. Y'all stay safe out there. God bless every single one of you. And I mean that. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are why I do what I do. Okay. To help you guys out, inform you guys, educate you guys. That's why I do what I do. Y'all are everything to me. Y'all have a very, very awesome day.